Imagine your town has a fiery train derailment that spills a cocktail of dangerous chemicals, leaving you and your neighbors with serious concerns and health issues, and all you get from a legally negotiated settlement is a few thousand bucks. Well, for the people of East Palestine, Ohio, that appears to be the deal. Rail company Norfolk Southern is agreeing to pay $600 million to settle a class action lawsuit over that disaster last February. Now, that number is big. It's significant, but guess what? It only averages out to about $6,000 per resident. That's because around 100,000 people and businesses are within a 20-mile radius of the derailment, and they're all eligible for payouts. And while we don't know what the lawyer's cut is, experts say it can be as much as a third of the class action lawsuit settlements. In that case, that means $200 million for the lawyers. News Nation's Rich McHugh has been following this case from the very start. He's on the ground in East Palestine. Rich, what are people's reaction today to the news of this settlement and that dollar amount? Well, as with everything in this story, Elizabeth, there are already two distinct and different narratives. You speak to the attorneys and they say the residents here think this is a good thing. You speak to the residents and they say this is not a good thing. In fact, I can't find anybody in town who said this was a good thing. I'm also staring at a text from one resident who's listed as a plaintiff in the, in the settlement and she didn't even know she was still involved. Uh, but let's get right to this, the numbers here. 600 million, uh, 100,000 residents within a 20 mile radius are eligible. As you said, attorney's fees, usually 30%. Uh, if, that, if that's true, that's $180 million. That leaves 420 million, which would be approximately $4,200 per resident if everyone gets the same. And the attorneys tell us not everyone gets the same. Um, residents, they're angry. If the court allows this to go through, all they're doing is rolling out the red carpet for these corporations to put that into next year's budget. Oh, this is the cost if you want to poison a community, 600 million. I see a contaminated creek, a neighborhood that smells of chemicals still, um, reactions, eye burns, um, a home that's not fit to live in. Um, there, we need help. Sorry, that was Chrissy Ferguson. She lives right over the creek, one of the creeks in town, which is horribly contaminated. And she offhandedly told me jokingly, uh, she wants to open her house to the EPA uh, administrators, uh, Deborah Shore and Michael Reagan, as a BR, BRB, BRB, so they can, they're welcome to come and stay at her home anytime. It's that bad, she says. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably pass on that B&B offer. Rich, the lawyers involved in the class yeah. action lawsuit did hold a Zoom call with reporters today. What did they have to say? So they were obviously defending uh, this settlement. I said, look, the resident, I can't find anybody who's, who's actually supportive of this. Uh, this, is a, this is a small sum given how many people there are. And what do you say to the, the person who developed cancer in two or three years and the complaint that this is too little too quickly? Take a look. On that point, Rich, I think it's also important to remember that this is not just a, a simple math problem where we're going to divide the amount of money by the amount of people within that potential zone. This we we're working with claims administrators to work at the people that were impacted the most, get the most, and it and it works its way out. Now this still needs to go before a federal judge uh, to be approved. Uh, the residents, one other reason that they're angry is that the NTSB is still yet to come out with their final report. That's set to come out in, in June, and they say that the fact that this is happening before then. There's even more cause for alarm, Elizabeth. Why is the NTSB report still not out? This has been more than a year. Well, the NTSB is actually a really good operator in this. Uh, the woman running it, Jennifer Mundy, is like laser focused on this. And so uh, I think she's just diligently working this case. She's a, she's a good actor in this whole deal. Yeah, they've done great work, and I'm sure that report will be very interesting. But it is interesting, as you point out, yeah. that the uh, that Norfolk Southern is settling before that NTSB report comes out, which potentially could be quite damning to the railroad. Uh, Rich McHugh reporting live from East Palestine, Ohio, as he has for the last year plus. Uh, thanks so much. Thanks.
thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.